our new broadcast, The Panther Roar. In this broadcast, we have a lot of fun and exciting things in store. Now we will be interviewing the first graders. Hi, we're here with Miss Fouts' class, and so they've been learning something really cool. Can you guys tell me what you've been learning? Hibernation. Um, and what have you guys learned from hibernation? Raise your hands and tell them what you learned. All right, we'll go with you. Hibernation, what did you learn about it? Have you guys anything done cool with hibernation or anything like that? Can you tell me what you did? You took your notes, you watched your videos. How do they hibernate? What has to happen in the fall? Gigi, what has to happen in the fall? Um, they have to eat and All right, that's it. Thank you, first grade. Bye. 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 All right. yeah, We're here you. with the first grade class and Ms. Fouts, the teacher. Oh, so Ms. Fouts, no. how have they been learning with hibernation? So we started at hibernation this week. We watched some YouTube videos, took some notes, and then they are going to take a test on Friday over their notes. Um, what are you guys planning on learning next? Next, we are going to learn about how the animals who don't hibernate survive in the colder climates. All right, I think that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Now we go to interview Ms. Corcoran about the new high school. Hi, everyone. Today, I'm here with Ms. Corcoran. Uh, I have some questions about the soon-to-be-built Bishop Lejay High School. So, what are your thoughts on the actual building? So, our plans for the new high school will be that we will be building it out past where the chapel is now. So, if you think about the chapel and then upstairs the music room, just taking the building and going that way through the teacher's parking lot, It'll actually go almost to the property line and may turn a little bit back um, like into the top part of the playground there. The part where you're not allowed to go, that'll be a building someday. Uh, are you going to be getting any new teachers? Uh, eventually, we will have to get new teachers. Um, we're actually kind of trying to look at when we will be able to have the first eighth grade class or not eighth grade, excuse me, ninth grade class. Um, my hope was that we were gonna be able to do that this year, like this coming year, so that our current eighth graders could be freshmen next year, but I don't know if that's gonna happen because in order for us to start building, we have to have 100% of the money that we need um, pledged and 50% of the money raised. And right now, the cost of the program so basically adding on to the building and then renovating the rest of the building um, is about 12 million dollars so we would have to have 12 million pledged and 6 million in the bank so um, I don't know if we're going to be able to do that you know by the end of this year to get going because we can we could keep like ninth and 10th grade in the current building so as long as in two years we had the new building, we'd be good to go. But the diocese, <clears throat> the leadership at the diocese is concerned that if we start and then we don't have the building done, then we're gonna be like, ah, what do we do? Which I'm like, let's rent spaces at OUC, but we'll see. 
So that's kind of where we are right now. Uh, what type of classes are you going to be offering? So um, basically, and this is kind of my vision right now, so it could change because there are a whole lot of people involved in it. But my vision is to have like your freshman and sophomore year be very similar um, to kind of a traditional high school. So you're going to have all the same classes, biologies, the different social studies histories. Um, we have some more options available to us as far as foreign languages go. So, you know, for example, like one, uh, one foreign language that I know that there's been some interest in is Latin. So we might be able to do a Latin class through um, the high schools in Columbus, do kind of a distance learning similar to what we've done with Spanish. Um, and, you know, there's also people within our community who are interested in coming in and maybe teaching special classes per quarter. So my thought was work with the students and find out what you guys are interested in and then kind of try to build additional classes into the schedule on top of what you're required to take, but ones that you're more interested in. Um, and with the high school model, you know, we're looking at some different options, like maybe starting the morning with um, mass or religion class, one of the two, um, because as you get older, when you get to your junior and senior year, my vision is to have classes where you may not be in this building all day long. So you may come here in the morning for religion class or mass, but then you may be taking a lot of classes at OUC, or you may <clears throat> have some courses at the vocational school that you want to take. Or, um, you know, we're, we want to have mentorship set up and internships. So uh, with classes of around 25 students, there's no reason why we can't tailor your high school experience to be exactly what you want it to be. So, you know, Eleanor, what do you what do you think you might want to do outside of college when you go to college? Um, I think I would like to work in the um, be an OBGYN nurse. Okay. So for you, knowing you know, as a freshman in high school, if that's what you're interested in, what we're going to try to do is tailor a program for you, where you can start getting the coursework that you need to be ready when you like to make a jump start when you go to college but also I want to get you out at the hospital in a doctor's office where you're doing some shadowing and seeing exactly what it means to be an OBGYN nurse so that maybe you get out there and you're like whoa I don't want to do this okay then you can change your mind when you're 17 as opposed to when you're in college and spending thousands and thousands of dollars on college tuition and then changing your major. I'm hoping that you'll kind of have a good idea. And, you know, there's also things like there will be jobs for you guys that haven't even been invented yet. So we kind of want to give give you lots of opportunities to explore and find out what's out there. Thank you, Ms. Clifford. Thank you. That's all we have for today. Now we go to Weather with Max. Hey, Panthers. Uh, I have the weather report for this week. On Thursday, it has a high of 50 degrees and a low of 28 degrees and rainy. On Friday, it's supposed to be partly cloudy with a high of 36 degrees and a low of 23 degrees. On Monday, it's supposed to be partially cloudy with a high of 51 degrees and a low of 33 degrees. On Tuesday, it's going to be par partially cloudy with a high of 51 degrees and a low of 33 degrees. On Wednesday, it's supposed to be partly cloudy with a high of 52 degrees and a low of 40 degrees. That's all for our weather report. Now we go to sports with Wyatt and Sam at Miss Fay's. Today we are talking to Miss Fay. Hi, Miss Fay. We're here to ask you some questions. Hello, go ahead. What are your thoughts about making the soccer team for Pennsylvania? My thoughts are I love soccer, it's my favorite sport, and I have already mentioned the idea of having a soccer team to Mrs. Clifford, and hopefully she's thinking about it, and yes, I would love to see a soccer team here at the school, so. Do you think we, we, we will even have enough players to play? Yes, I know that we would have enough players to play. Um, if we include six, seventh, and eighth graders, then we definitely have enough players, yes. Do you know where we will practice at? 
My suggestion is practice right out on the playground in the big field area where the big goal frame is out there. Will there be a boy and a girls team or all the girls? More than likely to begin, we would have a co-ed team, boys and girls, six, seven, and eight graders. And, um, yeah, that should be enough to field a team. Where do you think we will put our game? Mm, the game schedule would more than likely be similar to what the basketball team schedule is. So the schools who are available that have soccer teams need that are the same area as basketball teams. My thoughts are 6th, 7th, and 8th graders would be the best option for now to get started. What seed are we looking in? Mm, soccer seasons are typically fall and spring. I also coach indoor, but I would suggest to start with fall season for soccer. Look at that, Belle. I'd love to do it for more than a year. Yes, I'd like to do it for as long as I'm here at the school. Thanks for your time in this interview. You're welcome. Feel free. You can get a team. Hi, Panthers. Right now we are going to go over the science fair. Category winners. Firstly up, we have Laura Crawford in chemistry, Will Thompson in energy and alter alternative fuels, Jonathan Crawford in botany, Brian Arizona in material sciences, Kristen Fleck in physical and sports sciences, Camden Neal with behavioral sciences, Sammy Elliott with consumer sciences, Julia Corcoran with Hydrological Sciences and Julia McNeil, who had a perfect score with Biological Sciences. Great senior medal, Julia McNeil. Bye, Panthers. That's all we have for today. Thank you for watching the Panther Roar. Stay tuned for more updates. Love, joy, and peace out, Panthers.